Hey, we're out here today with the uh, Femi Mini 3 uh, drone here. And uh, you're here at the Ron Brown's YouTube channel. We cover a lot of drones, drone gear, you know, camera tech, action cameras, small cameras, and so on. But today is a drone video, of course. And we're running a screen recording here. We're using an iPhone 14 Pro to fly the, um, the Femi Mini today. And we just got to worry to take off uh, because the drone's getting hot sitting there, you know, not, not taking off. So there we use the automatic slider to get the drone up in the air here. We're down at the beach here at the Margate City here. You can see the beach workers out there. I think they're taking down a, a kind of a little kind of bandstand that they had up uh, you know, last, last weekend for like a special event here. So uh, yeah, I'm just getting the drone up here. You see my, uh, you see me right there. I'm uh, controlling the drone there right in front of Lucy the Elephant. I'm staying here in the deck. At the Lucy Grill here, the other Lucy Grill, and uh, it's a it's a it's early morning here. I got down here about uh, seven thirty, so it, it's maybe eight o'clock now, or right around eight. And uh, got a little fog on the beach here. Um, you know, it's, it's a strange thing this year. We've had a lot of uh, it's been a heat wave. You know, kind of inland. I'm on a on a barrier island here, barrier island here in the Jersey coast. So right off the land, it's been like a heat wave this summer you know, mid-90s and so on. But down here at the shore, it's been kind of cold because we have cold ocean temperatures. But when those cold ocean temperatures meet that hot air, it kind of causes some, like, kind of, uh, for lack of a better word, fog. And uh, we do have some this morning here. We're going to try to do the best we can. I, I played with some of my um, gain and expo tuning on the drone here because I was, you know, having a little bit problem with the flight controls. And also calibrated the sticks on the controller because the drone was not flying straight for me here so i want to kind of test that out today and see if i've made any improvements uh you know in those departments plus i want to try out some of the quick shot type features today since i i, I basically played with them a little bit the last first flight but um you know i was still just trying to learn the drone here so here we go here and uh this is kind of again this is like kind of the second flight here really the drone so um you know, um, this is the second flight. This is not a, you know, a, uh, you know, a be all end all tutorial here. Um, we're still learning to fly the drone here. So, I mean, if you've, if you have this drone, you've flown it like 20 times, uh, you know, this probably isn't the video for you. We're just trying to walk our way through and learn more about the drone here. Okay. You can see the haze, what do you want to call it? Fog haze. As you look down, uh, towards where the sun, sunrise is coming from. That's, uh, kind of Atlantic City down there in, in the distance, what you can see through the fog there. So um, be interested to see how well the camera kind of handles, you know, those conditions here. So um, just try to get the best kind of angle here to take in all these uh, fog. You can see that if you look at the extreme right of the, of the screen, you can see the ocean waves rolling in. You know, that's where the sun is hitting, hitting it right now. You can see those, you know, kind of lit up. So... Um, yeah, you can see up top here, you can see I'm about uh, 82 feet high at this point, and uh, 200, and, well, now over 300 feet away. So we're flying down the beach here. You see the home point at the bottom moving as the drone's moving. So kind of kind of a neat shot there, really, with all that fog in, in distance here. I mean, of course, uh, not not the best time, I guess, to judge the uh, video quality of the, of the drone in particular here, but it is kind of an interesting shot here so i'm watching my our signal up here you know up okay there we got our first yellow line here at about 866 feet away here but i'm probably partially blocked by that big building or whatever that you saw that condo building so that could have something to do with it too there so let's uh see if uh we can get a photo here so we're just going to use a single shot here it doesn't have a lot of photo options like the dji drones do you know the auto bracketed shots and all that stuff here so I believe there is a, a, a 16, a 12, you know, like two different megapixels. Okay, photo was successfully taken there. So we'll try to throw that in and show you how it worked at some point or another in this video here. So, okay, uh, for another photo was taken. So got two photos snapped off here. And there's like showing where the photos wind up in your photo album there. So, okay, here's some of the intelligent flight modes there. And uh, I think they're under that, uh, you know, that thing. It looks like Marcus called an Android helmet there. Because now we spun the drone away, kind of away from the, uh, you know, the, the 
the exposure of the sun. So things kind of look much better now that the cameras not have to deal with the, that over, kind of overexposure. And this has a, a wide 1.6 aperture on it too. So, um, you know, it's uh, prone to, um, you know, you let too much light in in these kind of conditions. You know, you, you, you put those wide apertures in so you're good in low light, but you kind of pay the price when you're, uh, you got a lot of sun going here in this situation. So, okay, we're flying down the beach here. You can even see, like, at 92 feet, some of the stuff on the beach even kind of looks fogged in until we get right over top of the lifeboats, the lifeguard stands, you know, and uh, whatever else down there. So you said, either way you look, you see those kind of foggy, misty conditions, which is, you know, I mean, it happens here at the beach, but I've seen it more this summer than I've ever seen before again with the, you know, the heat wave you know, towards the land and the, and the cold ocean waters, you know, towards, you know, we'll say the eastern side and the warm temperatures toward the west. So, yeah, so we're about um, 700, uh, 700 some feet away. We're still getting our yellow thing for the first time here. So we're bringing it back here, trying to get our full signal back here again. We have good satellites. So uh, I believe that say it's 30, 33 satellites. It bouncing back between 31 and 33 satellites there. So, we're coming back here, kind of a pullback reveal shot. You can see the condos, kind of uh, just a little bit of a condo through the mist. So these kind of uh, cool shots here. And I, of course, I'm looking at the screen here. Be able to see how, how neat this looks on the uh, the video we shoot in the memory card. There's one of the uh, condos in market that's called Allen House. That's kind of the first one if you're heading this direction. So we're going to pull back here, maybe get over the ocean. You can get, see that cloud mist right over top of some of the, you know, the uh, condos, uh, you know, like old, old hotels, which are now condos right beside it here. And again, that H has a home point. That's where I'm standing. You see the lighthouse in the distance. So we're going to, you know, do a kind of a side, uh, fly sideways here, which, you know, not often recommended because, you, you know, this drone does not have optical avoidance and you could hit something. But, of course, I'm flying out of the ocean. There's nothing to hit out there. So it's safer than it is for most people, I turned the EV down a notch there to negative three because of all the exposure, which I don't know if that was the right thing to do or not because now we have all these clouds. And if this drone has a, a histogram you can put in the screen, I'm not sure if I found it yet or not. So, you know, I usually check my exposure with a histogram. Um, you don't want to screen it all the times, but I'll have to look to see if I... Um, just haven't found a way to put the histogram up, histogram up there. So again, flying towards the uh, condo with all that fog at the base of it is is kind of a neat shot, really. Um, yeah, I didn't expect these conditions when I got down here, um, but uh, so I have to kind of deal with them there. There's Lucy through the haze. So um, of course, signal's good again. We're you know, we're, we're, we're closed back there. So, you know, I, I think this thing's flying uh, better than it was since I uh, played with the Gain Expo tuning and all that. But uh, I, I still don't, I still feel a pulling as, I, as I'm flying along, like pulling to uh, either side. It, it just still doesn't seem to fly straight for me like I would like it. So, um, and I calibrated, actually calibrated six a couple times. So I don't know what my answer there is as far as getting it flying straighter. So, um, okay, we're looking around some of the menus there, trying to find, um, you know, it's a, two different options for the, um, the quick shot modes here. You know, there's, there's, there's these, there's, there are ones in here and then the one under the kind of the Android helmet. So, uh, there's soaring, which you know, I'm not sure exactly what soaring is. And there's a drone E and orbit and some of your more common ones. So, um, I think we're trying to soaring one here. So that says, select the shooting target. Aircraft will rise quickly according to the set altitude. So I think this is just one where it just kind of goes up and looks down. It says, uh, according to the altitude and shoot a video. Please fly the soaring mode in the open, empty area from away from the crowd and buildings. Yeah, because of course, this does have optical, optical avoidance and shouldn't fly over people. So, um, okay, select, select the X to uh, you know, click on the X to select target. Okay, I wonder if it'll be able to, you know, keep, you know, a good um, 
thing on Lucy with his father. Okay, we're going to set the height here. going to go a little bit higher than the fall here. Go up to maybe 90, 98 feet here. Um, what else is on an ET? Uh, I'm not sure what ET means. Auto return home. Okay, we selected the X once again there, the plus, sorry, the plus. And uh, part of me, I'm trying to learn some of these settings here, these uh, quick charts. Uh, maybe not quite as intuitive as some of the DJI ones, but, uh, you know, we're going to work through it here. That's more of a, more of a you know, user kind of error thing there than, than uh, an issue with the drone here. I'm used to using DJI kind of quick shots, so it takes me a while to relearn somebody else's okay so let's get that um you know we got that target on lucy there so let's see what happens here you're not sure what's going on here um it looks like it's coming in but i'm not sure exactly what's happening there's a timer kind down in the upper uh, right hand corner I guess it come you know, I don't know if this is the soaring yet or all this was the soaring. Or maybe this part's just the soaring. Yeah, I'm kinda not getting okay, so stop recording. And that went so quick I couldn't read it all, but I guess um I guess that was the end of the soaring. Now all those X's are I guess things that uh, it identifies as like cars, like it's identifying my my car as something there. So let's click on Lucy again. She's obviously the biggest object in the uh in the whole um scene here let's go to something else here okay here's that okay so now let's uh do something else here we did i think we did soaring the first time here's that same window here okay click the uh the tap on the x let the counter go down and okay, here's one where it, uh, I think we took the drone here. It's rising and pulling away. You know, I'm not sure which one this is doing here. I'm kind of confused on this right now, but um, it's doing something there. And it's nice that it can lock on the Lucy even with all this fog around. Okay, shooting complete will return to the starting point. So, um, yeah, I don't think it was, you know, dirt, when it does it, I don't think it actually tells you which of the quick shot modes it's actually performing. Okay, it's cut slowly coming back. Okay, now it's putting the um, pluses on anything it thinks it can identify there. seen a lot of stuff yeah so we did the droney the last time that was the droney and there's the orbit here good old good old orbit one of everybody's favorite. Well, droney's a big favorite too but orbit's you know another big favorite here so i'm drawing the thing there and again be interested to see if it can keep uh lucy locked in with you know kind of this fog around even though it doesn't the fog doesn't look too actually too bad around lucy there so uh, I didn't get any options to control the speed or the direction there. It just is, these are kind of the simple ones where, you know, um, you don't need a lot of user input to get them going, which is, you know, sometimes good if you just, if you need to get something quick, you don't have a lot of time to, you know, uh, mess with a bunch of settings, you just need to get it going. So, yeah, you can see all the, you know, the fog that's, you know, kind of all around Lucy there, and it's got it locked in really good, so I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, this orbit feature right here, um, I'm going to say it's doing a good job in, in these conditions. Um, I can't complain at all. So I think it's almost going around once. Early morning here, nobody, Lucy's not open, nobody really around. Kind of good time to get this stuff done. It's summertime though now, so by, you know, a certain time of day, um, people are starting to come okay so that's it lets you know it's finished and now it's ready for the next one okay let's try another uh you know a quick shot here um we have some options of course we just did the orbit here and um 
you know, th this is where you can change the distance uh, on things. So we're going to do the spiral now. We're going to go up to about 82 feet here. So select the shooting target. That says the same thing every time. So we're going to draw the box over Lucy there, over the Hoopa, and we're going to see if we can change the settings. Look like the video size is stuck at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we can't go the 4K here, but we will show you where you can go the 4K in another section here. But uh, so we're going to do this is a spiral in 1080p, 30 here. So. Um, Got Lucy locked in, even said with all the fog and mist around here. And spirals are very um, kind of a, you know, a, a cool maneuver, one that would be hard to replicate if you were manually flying it. Um, you know, but uh, of course, the, it's been on the DJI drones for years. It's a favorite. It's kind of unique. It's kind of, some people call it like a kind of a corkscrew, you know, going around, um, you know, the, the subject. So, um, yeah, it's again always a cool one here, and you know it's got the you know the uh, elephant locked in. Uh, you can see the home point where I'm standing there off to the side. Um, yeah, what can I say? It's it's working well, just like it should. Um, kudos to Femi. Um, did a good job with the, some of these quick shots here, and let's see, it should be almost done here, and then it should stop. And I return to that menu thing like it did on the other ones. Yep, spiral's finished. And then as soon as it's finished, the target, the X little circles with the um, things that have come on the identified targets. So, um, quick shot is, is not available. Okay, so here's, you know, we, the thing where you can see all your stuff you've done, you know, your little folder of shots. Uh, not available under the intelligent flight mode here. Um, okay, Low uh, battery I think level. we've done Please all we're going to do right here. Yeah, let's get out of here for a second. And uh, we're talking about low battery level. Please land as soon as possible. But, uh, let's see here. What are we at here battery-wise? 28%. So this thing, when it gets to 25, it really wants to land almost to the point where it's, um, you know, uh, forcing itself to land on you. So we're going out to the beach again here to bring it down. Um, you can, again, you can see how misty it is out there, foggy, whatever your favorite word is for these conditions. And uh, you, know, you can see the boat and some of the objects out in the beach, a little kind of lifeguard house there where they store stuff. So yeah, we're just going to bring this guy in, uh, you know, get him down here before it does a force land on me. If you saw my first video, my first flight, you saw when I was at 20%, it was just trying to land. I had to, you know, force it to stay up in the air. You know, I was in my, you know, very first flight video. Watch why I will link here. So again, uh, I hope this helps anybody who's, you know, trying to, um, you know, figure out some of the, you know, the quick shot modes here. Again, this is the kind of the first time I've really fooled around with them. I'm no expert. This isn't meant as a definitive tutorial. So anybody, you know, the people that say, oh, you know, you need to practice some better. Well, the whole point of this video is me showing you my first experience with the quick shots, not after extensive testing. So uh, just keep, just bear that in mind. And, uh, you know, uh, I will do another video where I will show you some of my, um, you know, again, the expo settings that I dialed in for this video, of course, it's not perfect yet. Um, but, um, you know, they're always a work in progress. But um, I still haven't got that uh, thing where it uh, doesn't fly straight. I forget what the proper word for that is. But here we're coming in for a landing here. This is a, uh, you know, not a automatic landing or precision landing. This is me bringing this thing down here. Okay, this is my conclusions here. Uh, Pretty successful flight. I was surprised how well the drone performed in all the haze and fog out here at the beach here. I did not have uh, much of a problem. And it looked like I, the camera actually got some interesting shots, you know, uh, of that haze and fog. Um, and of course, I did try to uh, adjust my gain and expo settings to help it fly better. And I think I did. It was, you know, definitely too fast. And, and his motions before, so I kind of got a lot of things slowed down. So I think I got a smoother flight for you than I did in my first test flight here. Um, I wasn't able to really get um, the, the the drone. It doesn't fly straight for me. I wasn't able to work that out by calibrating the uh, the sticks on the controller. I calibrated them twice just to make sure, and I'm still pulling. Sometimes it pulls the left. 
sometimes it pulls to the right here. I forget the exact word uh, people call that, but uh, yeah. So still work on that, but I, I, it is definitely flying better for me. And we got a, a chance to go through some of the quick shots. Uh, you know, three or four of them work. These are the basic ones that come under the camera settings. The more sophisticated ones that come under that Android helmet. And we'll get to that in a, another video here. But uh, yeah, these these ones are just basic. Uh, they, they shoot in 1080p 30. So yeah, okay. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, you know, if you did... Uh, leave the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, you know, notifications when I put new videos up. And uh, definitely, you know, uh, thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video.